Today we're going to learn how to build this beautiful portable deck bar. Jim, take us through the features. Well, basically it starts with a medium-sized cooler that we purchased. We um, Essentially it determines the parameters of this thing, the size of it. Um, we envision this full of ice and your favorite beverage. You close it up, you move over here. This is a free draining hole where we can see, we can fill it full of ice, white wine, tequila. This fixed work area where you'd, uh, we can see limes, setting up your shots, entertaining. And of course we're going to use Western Red Cedar today, which is a great choice for outdoor projects because it's naturally resistant to rot, decay and insects. It's also easy to work with, isn't that right Jim? It sure is, beautiful to work with. It's also very lightweight, which helps in a project such as this. It's very stable, which we like and it's absolutely gorgeous. That it is. Let's get started. So Jim, how many steps for this design? Well, essentially four. And what's the first one? First, this is the top. This will be the top. Mm -hmm. So uh, essentially what we've done here is taken four two by sixes and we've laminated them together. So we're on to step two now. What's that entail? So what we've done here is we've cut the, um, cut the legs mm -hmm. and then from the legs we'll follow the frame. So for the legs, I've taken four by four mm -hmm. and I've ripped them down to three inch by three inch for purely aesthetic reasons. Then I've uh, cut a notch into the uh, four by fours, being careful to make sure they're nice and true because now the frame will follow from this. really beautifully. Let's, uh, let's see how this fits. Perfect. Great. So obviously the last step is to put the lid on. Yes, and that's a little bit tricky because there's a hinge involved, but as long as you're careful with your measurements and, you, um, and precise, you should be just fine. If you've made it this far, frankly, you're going to have no problem at all. Wow, it looks amazing. Now we're just going to let this weather naturally, eventually turning into a beautiful silvery patina. But it's good to know that Western Red Cedar is pitch and resin free, which means it accepts and holds a wide variety of finishes beautifully. And this project also lends itself to accessorization as well. You could put casters on it and drag it down the road to the beach if you had to. <laughs> you could put a beer opener on it down the side there cap catcher, and essentially the front is your canvas. You can do whatever you want with that. And I really like how you left enough space here for a champagne bottle. We certainly did, didn't we? All yeah. we need is summer. That's right, that's right. That would be uh, a long time coming. <laughs>